Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Luke and Lewis. We are joined by the most famous man in Tasmania, me, but also Greeley is here. Welcome to the show, mate. Thank you, bro. It's good to be back and it's good to have you down um, on my island. Well, our island, oh, right? Well, I'm pretty sure. Tasmania. Yeah, but Greeley's got to be the mayor at this point. <laughs> yeah. You, you you do have the island on your face. Yes, I you do. Know. Maybe if I get a bigger one on my forehead, then it'll be my island. Do you want to do that? No way. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> would you respect Lewis more if he got a face tat of Tasmania I on would. his face? I would. Really? I, I yeah, wouldn't. I would. As my first tattoo. Yeah. Like, I'm not really a hard person. Well, I'm then, not re- I've only been here for three weeks. Yeah, then I'd be like, no, nah, you're fully Tasmanian now. Like, okay. That's true. That would be a fully Tasmanian thing to do because yeah. it would be dumb as fuck and I'd hate it. Yeah. So, very Tasmanian. <laughs> <laughs> now, Luke, you, we told you that to come here for a podcast. This is actually uh, an intervention, all right? Yeah. It's yeah. time to give up the mainland. All right. Oh, yeah. thank God. I thought I had to get off the beers. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Right. <laughs> we want you to become Tasmanian. That's heavily encouraged. Oh, I just started. That's yeah. true. Every show I do here, someone hands me a Cascade Lager, and we don't have that on the mainland. Yep. And they go, mate, it's good. It's it's not good. It's you don't your like Cascade ver- Lager. It's just your version of VB. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it's not. It's like going to Queensland and someone hands you a four X and go, drink it, mate. You'll love it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, yeah. It's just because I don't have it doesn't mean it's good. Yeah. You know, that's like me and Frankson going here, get stabbed. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, like well, I other places I don't have to. them. Yeah. Do you like Bogues? I've I was told to have a red Bogues. Is that Tasmanian? Yeah, yeah. Bogues. We so Bogues is we have Bogues in. Uh, in Melbourne, but it's yeah. not. I don't know what red is. Well, I think it's all been bought out by Asians, so it's not really. That's most imp- yeah. most beer is imported. But out. originally, anyway. Bogues is from Launceston and Cascades yeah. from Hobart. Yeah, right. And there's a war, like a, there's a turf war about. Oh, I did Bogues get told versus, to have yeah. Bogues up there. Yeah, um, right. and down here, people hand me Cascade. Yeah. We used to like do full. Fuck Bogues chance Dude. at gigs and like Hobart was like, yeah. Fuck Bogues. Fuck Bogues, <laughs> those what northern a, dogs. What a weird beef. See, yeah. there is a weird beef between Launceston and Hobart, I've realised. Because I was no, like I at my show, that. oh yeah, buddy, Launceston didn't like this one. And they're like, yeah, fuck him. And then mm. I said the same thing in Launceston. And they're like, yeah, fucking fuck Hobart. Yeah. And I'm just you like. You guys are just different suburbs. Like they don't realise how close they are. Like no, you guys are I'm, all Tasmanian. I'm sitting in the middle going like, you're both shit. <laughs> like you well, hey, stop hey, arguing. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Mainlander I'm talking I'm trash. I'm surrounded by two Tasmanians. Have you seen what's been happening over the mainland? They're running around like headless I chickens. Know. They've got riots. Yep. Uh, they've got. There was uh, an earthquake this morning. There was morning. an earthquake. God damn. This was like, we're recording this obviously a week where before you're hearing this because I'm, I'm going on holidays. Yeah. So, But yeah, the worst part of that earthquake this morning was the social media, the Instagram mm. stories. Mm-hmm. There was a, it yeah. was a six on the Richter scale, but it was like a, a nine or a 10 on the shut up scale. Yeah. <laughs> it was awful. I woke up and everyone's like, did you, see, did, did you feel it in Tassie? I'm like, no. No. Oh, you barely felt I'm it in Victoria. Pretty much in Antarctica. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, so what's it's the pretty crazy though. Uh, well, the intervention is it's it's time for you to give up the mainland and properly join us as a Tasmanian. See, you've dipped your toe in. All right, you've got an Airbnb. I myself, Keelan, Rosie, really, we're residents. I'm on a lease here, so I'm literally Tasmanian by law. Yeah. Okay, I'm also technically Victorian as now, well, but I'm hoping to give that up. Be honest, if you couldn't get here. I know you had to get here under that technicality of mm-hmm. becoming a resident, yep. otherwise you weren't allowed to leave. Yeah. Be honest, mm-hmm. if you had the choice, would you be a resident? Would you have got a six month lease? I plead the fifth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Irrelevant, Your Honor. <laughs> now you you've got an Airbnb. You're floating around. I might stay here, I might stay there. Yeah. Man, it's time to just forget about the mainland and become a true Australian. I just don't mm. wanna lock anything in. I don't want anything to be you know. Why not? Why, what are you on the fence about? It's, What's not to love? Well, it's firstly the weather has been my biggest complaint. That's pretty much my only complaint. I actually think it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. I just don't like it. I wake up and I go, I don't like being here. <laughs> I personally, <laughs> and like, as a Tasmanian that's lived in Melbourne, I find the winters in Melbourne a lot more miserable. They Why are. Is that? I hate it. Even though it's, <laughs> even though it's a little bit more cold down here, mm. I just think Melbourne is... Like, you, at least... 
here is beautiful. It might be freezing, but you can True. see mountains, oh, yeah. rivers. Melbourne, you know, Melbourne is like cold, and all you see is just an endless buildings. suburbia of buildings. Yeah. You've got no point of direction. Yeah. Like at least down here, you can look. Oh, there's a mountain. I know where I am. I know where north and south is. Over there, you're yeah. just in the abyss of like. Bunnings, yeah. and KFCs, <laughs> and you know what I mean. Like yeah, it's yeah. just yeah, it's like you, you, you go anywhere, yeah. and you just all, like you just that's I, all I'm hearing there is uh, cheap sausages on a weekend and <laughs> delicious chicken. Yeah, now, but mate, also Gotham in. Uh, Sorry, Gotham. Melbourne reminds me of Gotham. Right. Okay, That's what yeah. I was going to say. I thought you were going, you know what I miss? Gotham, the yeah. brothel. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Melbourne in winter reminds me of Gotham. Yeah. It's yeah. awful. That's yeah. cool. Actually. But this thing, I'm not that pro Melbourne name. either. Everyone always goes, mm. oh, you're pretty hard in other places. And I'm like, no, I, I froth Perth. People yeah. give me so much shit for that. No, I, no, love that's wrong. I love Perth. I love Perth too. I love yeah, Perth's, Perth. Perth. I, Perth's yeah. awesome. Right, Queensland. Like. Yeah. Mm. Pretty much all of it. I mean, the, the, it does. It has its moments. We're up there. Up, Rockhampton and Bundaberg. Look, I'm not. No one loves it. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, Mackay, great places. Like up the east coast, I love a beach. I even like Darwin. I thought Darwin was sick because it was just like time traveling to the nineties. That was yeah. dildo racing. Have you ever been to Darwin? I have been there. What's dildo racing though? They put a dildos dildo in, in you and make you race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they put it. Uh, you race like ten dildos down a sheet of corrugated iron, and they you turn them on and they go <laughs> and vibrate ah. down, and, and everyone bets on them. It's awesome. That's pretty mad. Darwin yeah. is a bit different like that. Mm, yeah, yeah. They still do wet place. t-shirt competitions. Yeah, it's the wild west. Yeah. Oh, just even that like, they're um, yeah, all the road workers. Are all just like European backpacker chicks, yeah, yeah. That's yes. what blew me out. It was just like cruising down, and all the all the chicks working on the road, just elevens, like yeah, and just like blonde bombshells from yeah. Yeah, Finland, just go, go forty, just champ. like digging gravel. You and look at them and you're like, you shouldn't be out in the I'm sun. I'm pretty sure you're gonna they be red. Specifically, do that like to try as like a tourist thing. Like we but have hot council workers. There so is dull. no yeah. way that is true. That is true. <laughs> no, no, that's hundred percent. They, they do dildo races. Of course, they're hiring hotties. <laughs> they do. There was, no, I'm pr- like, um, it's been a while since I've been up there. It was about five years ago. But I'm pretty sure it's like a a local council or government initiative to hire like hotties. hot backpackers. To work on the streets, so more surely, people. Surely, that's not an on-paper initiative, though. Like, I'm pretty no sure one it at is. the council meeting is like, you know, what we need hot sluts with shovels. A hundred percent. You said it's behind the times. <laughs> it's like true. that's some eighties shit. That's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. You know, this is what we do. We get we get that's the hot council the workers, and then we get everyone blind in the pub. And mm. the nightclubs do it. do that. They employ hot chicks do do. to stand in the lines, exactly, and they're not actually going to the club. Yeah. Darwin is pretty really? much. Yep. So it looks so like usually they're, they're what flying. A trap. I've seen that before. On the Gold Coast, hot yeah. girls fly you to try yeah. and get you into yeah. clubs. But they kind of just hang out outside the nightclub. And I went there two nights and the mm. same girls were there. And I was like, who's falling for this two nights in a row? Yeah. They were here yeah. last week and they're clearly employed because I saw her to talking just stand to the bouncer. waiting in line. She was like talking to the bouncer like she knew him very well. Yeah. And I was like, okay, there's no way this girl comes here every so week. So you're in Darwin, that you walk past possible. all the hotties. Thinking that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you walk past all the hotties thinking that's what it's going to be inside the nightclub. You get in the nightclub, you're like, this isn't a nightclub. This is under a bridge. Yeah. Look at all these trolls. Well, and then I got pu- fucking punched in the face. Yeah. yeah. I got hit in Darwin. By who? Just some guy. Where does Just he live? Straight? No, in like a nightclub. It was a long story. Hey, no, tell us. Go on. I already told it on the oh, podcast. Told it. Oh, okay. But I oh, know, even quickly, I just walked in to a guy or oh, about to fight another guy. Mm. I uh, said, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? And then he punched me in the face. Oh, shit. Yeah. Did it hurt? Yeah. Was, was it like Heaps. bruising? Yeah. Did you get a black eye? Uh, it was like I fucked up my actual eyeball. Like, Shit. Yeah, it went real red and bloodshot. There's a great photo of me <laughs> 10 minutes before taken by the nightclub photographer and mm. then another photo of me <laughs> 10 minutes after That's and right. I've aged like 10 years. Oh, damn. <laughs> In yeah. about ten minutes, Damn. yeah, and 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 that's the place he prefers over this. Yes, wow, where he got punched it. in wow. the head, dude. Because you never know what's going to happen there. Yeah, and I had so many good stories. I was only there for like one week. Well, if you if you um if you hung out in Tassie outside your Airbnb, you yeah. never know what could happen. I would love to, but yeah. every time I leave the house, I get a bit of a chill. So yeah, <laughs> I back inside. I've I've seen Meg outside in Tassie more than you mm. yeah. we went swimming together yeah, yeah it was great she's joined the swim team when are you going to join the swim team Matt? absolutely not I do want to go for a run uh, I have been very busy I think when I come back yeah the, the thing is the you holiday, don't like be- hills either Mm. No, but I no because I really do like skateboarding when I'm away as well that's why I love the Gold Coast because it's flat 
Ooh. The Gold Coast is very flat. There's a lot yeah. of people that love like. There's a few good hills in um, Hobart to skate. Oh, I'll get do, fit. You, you, do you, well, like, oh, no, do you I'm, like I'm, downhill bombing or are you no, just I'm like not flat? Good. No, flat. I'm a pusher. I'm not good. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't actually skate. I just completely uh, centre my identity around something I'm mm. very bad at. Okay. Yeah. 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 Can't um, relate. I'm, I only centre my identity around things I'm incredible at, like swimming. Yeah, right. Yeah. Of course. Mm. <laughs> Don't laugh. Disrespectful. Um, so when are you going to join the swim team, Greeley? Um... Uh, <laughs> I'd love to see you in a pool. <laughs> yeah. I can't swim that well. That'd be so yeah. off-brand. But um, I've been swimming. I've been swimming. I was up in Newcastle and I went swimming a couple of times, but then lockdown happened and I couldn't go to the pool. So that was pretty trash. Yeah. But yeah, I like swimming. So is what's the intervention? Is it just you want me to stop we trashing? Want, we want you to give up okay. on the mainland. Can you? We think you're addicted to the mainland and it's unhealthy and we need you to <laughs> renounce it. I think one of the best reasons that Tassie is better than the mainland is mm-hmm. that everyone's pretty nice. Yes. And everyone in the mainland is a cunt. That is... Actually, is true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. like I yeah. get. I've had so many um, moments over the years, especially when I was living in Melbourne, where I'd be walking down the street and I see some people at a cafe and they're looking at me mm. and I go, "Good morning," and they go, Ugh. "Yeah," Ugh. and then I turn around and go, "Sorry." I'm from a place with a smaller population where we can't just be cunts to each other <laughs> yeah. because everyone will know you're a fucking cunt. And yeah, then they yeah. just, they, they'll pretty right at not saying hello and to me. Well, and yeah. I then I'll the just re- keep walking in my anger point, and shame. And who's the arsehole? Yeah, yeah. 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 I think maybe the reason they didn't say hello is because they saw that you had that sentence loaded somewhere in your brain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to have to say it four times a week over there. Like, <laughs> It's a common thing. No, but Tazzy is everyone in Tazzy's really nice. Like Keelan has just turned it into a game to just say hello to everyone he sees. Yeah. And it's like a hundred percent return rate. Also, the yeah. general population like is over fifty Down and here. retired. Oh, particularly in this neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. We've I've been hanging around mm. uh, here a lot and it is I didn't 60 realize plus. I didn't realise how nice this area was until I opened for you last night. And I told I was like, Oh, I'm staying in this suburb and the whole crowd was like Half the people were disgusted and the other half were like, Lewis is doing all right. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, it's a nice area. And the only reason the other guys are disgusted is because they can't afford to live in this area. <laughs> yeah, and that, and you never will. <laughs> <laughs> but this area is old money. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It's, it's old money like, you know. Um, I haven't seen a white person since I got uh, – I haven't seen a, a person who's not white since I got here. I was going to say, like, I've only seen white people. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. It's – it's getting a lot more multicultural. Like when I was at high school uh, down in Kingston, there was like a um, uh, couple Sudanese fellas, a few mm. Asians, an Indian fella, mm. a few Aboriginal people. Um, but yeah, it's definitely always had a bit of a white vibe. Yeah, I went we've to been, the whitest having school n- th- in like, Melbourne. This is probably this isn't going to help the argument or the intervention, <laughs> but there's a, there's actually like a. Um, You're not really selling it. No, no. <laughs> well, there's neo Nazis down continue. here apparently, and they're like going around putting up like white crosses or like really, yeah, like that white sucks. power crosses, you know, and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I got hit up by like a graph writer while I was on um mm. the mainland asking if I knew anything about it. So he's been going around and trying to find them. Yeah, trying to find them and hunting yeah. them down. That's crazy. And, and tagging over their little fucking white Good. power symbols. Oh. What a legend! I think you, I think you know, like a bounty hunter. <clears throat> What's that? Uh, do you, as in he's not hunting them down. Like he's just no, he's doing down it for the love. Life. Yeah, he's not getting paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> he just hates Nazis. Just, just a hunter. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's just like um, yeah, inglorious bastards of Tasmania. Yeah, like he just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like well, we might see him on the news one day. Hopefully. <laughs> um, okay, so what's the three best things about Tassie? Try and convince me that Tasmania is good. Because what am I? What am I missing? Because the, the the thing you told Lewis the other day about the sun setting at two p.m. wasn't a huge selling point. You were like, "Oh yeah, yeah, the sun sets over the mountain yeah. at two. Yeah, but that's okay, that's Hobart. a good point. You don't need a watch. You just look where the sun is. <laughs> yeah, true. And the sun's halfway down. Yeah. You know, it's about one thirty. Yeah, and if and if it's really dark, you go, "Well, it could it's it's either three p.m. or ten p.m. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really want to try and sell it to you anymore because um. Rent's already high enough as it is, and if you mainlanders <laughs> think you can fucking move down here and make it any worse for us, yeah, that's <laughs> I, true. That's I, a, am, like, I am contributing to the problem. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just realised that, like, yeah, most of your audience is on the mainland, and mm. if I make too good of a case, they're all going to move down here, and it's just going to get don't worse. Remember. I don't think that there's any, any problem. No. No, no. 
No, nah, to be honest, I like, saw the comments from the last episode. A lot of people going, "Fuck, Luke's making some solid points here." <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> go to the gym or give it a shot. Is huh? the door open? Well, that's that's only Melbourne and Sydney. Yeah, yeah. You, you're out here pretending like the rest of Australia isn't back to normal. Yeah, I, might, I may love Tassie <laughs> because of how much more fucked Melbourne has gotten since yeah. we left. But Melbourne, that's the thing. Like everyone's in this little bubble. Didn't see lockdown. natural disaster coming. That's true. No one's got one. We don't have natural disasters. Well, not you yet. don't have them? No, it gets very windy. Sometimes a few trees fall over. This is not going to age so, well. Okay, this it, is like when Frenchie said, nah, COVID, we don't do that here. And yeah. you're, this is gonna, we're going to clip this in like so, a year. Well, mm, we don't do natural disasters. We don't. We've, we, it gets <laughs> the windy. whole island sinks. A few like, okay, so if a tsunami hit Tasmania, mm-hmm. it'd get not halfway up the first hill. And the rest place, the rest of the place would be sweet. You know what sure. I mean? Like it just, <laughs> you just go on to, where you're tsunami staying in West Hobart. Yeah, tsunami's not going to hit there. No, yeah. no, it's going to. You know, it, by the time it gets up the river, it might might cover Salamanca. You know what I mean? Yeah. It probably won't even get up to this bit. Oh no! And we're two blocks from Salamanca. Yeah, so it's just up a hill. You know, yeah, no. like so. No, that's a good point. So we're tsunami, safe from tsunamis. Just get tired. Well, the sun can't even get past the mountain. Yeah. Exactly. Good luck if you're a tsunami. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So yeah, we we don't really have. Yeah, oh, no, it's flooded because it's like um, because <laughs> of all the tsunamis. No, well, just because of all the, the all the hills. Like mm. when it rains, when it it'll rains go the other bad, way. It all comes yeah. down. Like a few years ago, Hobart flooded, and um, probably because your sewerage system's fucked. This place it is, is old. Is fucked. Mm. Yeah, my water, my water is just full of silt. Yeah, you right. know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, apart from that, no natural disasters. You're supposed to be helping him. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, you know, I, hopefully I get it fixed. You know, hey, nothing wrong with a little silt shake. You know. Yeah. What else is there? <laughs> what else is there? So yeah, we're not going to get that. Na- yeah, no earthquakes. We He's haven't lived really had anything here like his that. whole life. He yeah. can't name three things <laughs> that are good about Tasmania. It's the cleanest air in the world. Yeah, that, that is, is good. good. I, like I was. That. Actually enjoying that. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Looking out is beautiful. God, mm. I just wish it was like four degrees warmer at all times. It's like yeah. it's I can't describe it. The sun's out, but there's a chill. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like the air. It's so not even windy. It's yeah. just like oh yeah. yeah. It's um <laughs> it's great. It's definitely like yeah, we're pretty close to Antarctica. Yeah. And so like you know, the the frost that comes up from Antarctica. Yeah. Let alone yeah, that Hobart, Hobart, right that. Hobart is like colder than Launceston. Yeah. Because we're on the water, mm. and then on the other side is mountains and valleys. So all the all the frost and the fog that yeah. you love so much comes yeah. um, down the hills. It's, that's been the weirdest thing. Doing the fog bit here, people don't understand because the bit starts off with me going, I don't really see fog. I don't get up mm. very early on the mainland, yeah. and um, there's not fog after 9am. Yeah. It just yeah. goes away. Here, 3pm... Yeah. Regional uh, Tasmania <laughs> fog for days. Yeah. I went through Campbelltown in the afternoon. Yeah. There was fog at the Caltex. It lingers up there, especially because it's just yeah, the flat Midlands. You know, it just yeah. sits. It's got yeah. nowhere to move. Well, we so, we discovered last night you were doing the fog bit, mm. and you talked about how much fog there is, and then all these people yell, "Oh yeah, Jerry, Jerry!" Okay, so you guys have a called, name for it's the called fog. the Bridgewater Jerry. Right, right. I don't think that. It's Jerry as in a Gerald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, like, I, I think I cool. understood that during it. I was like, I think they mean it's like... But then I, I thought I was being an idiot. I was like, is this just a common term for fog that I don't know? Like Jerry. Is the, yeah, like do, do, is it... Well, someone said... Is it an old-timey the, thing to call fog Jerry? Someone said, in, like the context of it was, someone goes, oh yeah, you'll get used to Jerry. Like a person. That's why yeah. it, 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 I found it so funny is because yeah. I was talking about fog and I'm like, you guys have heaps of here. And someone goes, yeah, you'll get used to it, mate. Jerry. Yeah. And I go, what? I'm like, do you have a name for your fog? And someone else goes, yeah, Jerry. <laughs> so then <laughs> it was very confusing because I think a yeah. bit of the crowd didn't know what was happening. Jerry's got his own website. <laughs> Bridgewaterjerry.com. It, it was the weirdest in joke. I love when you tour a place yeah. and they're all in on something. The same yeah. thing happened in Townsville. I bought up Bunnings mm-hmm. and someone goes, Yeah, having a bloody shag. And I go, and the whole crowd laughed. And I was like, Oh my God, are they mocking me? Like, what the fuck is happening? Mm. And out there, I'm like, well, What's going on? And they're like, Oh, someone did a route and got filmed and it went viral in, ta- in the Townsville Bunnings. And they all <laughs> knew about it and they go, Yeah, that's where people go to fuck now. 
And it was just like this. Oh, town- people go there now. Well, people like, are inspired. But by it's like it. a town wide joke that yeah. you go to Bunnings to fuck now. We're rude. And the whole crowd understood it. There was not mm. one person that was like, I'm confused. So, one theory That's of great. the origin of the name that is the word Jerry came from London, where it was thieves' slang for mist or fog. Okay. So it is an old timey British thing. It seems to yeah. be. Yeah, that's what I thought it might be. The Jerry's out in it. It's a bit Jerry, isn't it? Yeah, because didn't they used to call something else? Oh, they used to call um in the war Jerry was like the in Call of Duty. I swear they go, oh yeah. Jerry's coming over. It's like the Germans. The Germans. I'm not sure if it was called Jerry. It was called something else. There was a name. Maybe it was Jerry's. Jerry. Yeah, Jerry's. Yeah. Yeah. In like a lot of old war movies, they call like, oh, Jerry's yeah. moving up. And it just means the Germans. Well, but that's mm. why I thought. What an endearing name for someone trying to kill you. Yeah. You know? We're going, oh. It's like, oh, Steve. And it's the Russians. Like, it's so weird. Yeah. Like someone trying to, you know, commit genocide against your yeah. people. You go, oh, that's just Jerry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Trev says that the term may have racist connotations. Oh, here springing we go. from the British nickname for the Germans from World War One. Right. Because it was okay. foggy. That's what I was thinking on stage mm. last night. I was like, man. I've seen a lot of foggy war movies where they refer to True. Germans as Jerry. Is this a common thing? But then the crowd last night made it seem like, no, nah, this is our thing. We call it Jerry. But I was like, I don't think it is. No, it could oh, no, be. People definitely like... I'll, also, like, I've never heard that on the mainland. Yeah, so like, yeah. I mean, yeah, Bridgewater is like up the river. Yeah. So it comes down the river. And people right. do say, oh, did you see Jerry this morning? Like... That's a common thing. Like, did you see Jerry? Oh, Jerry was hectic this morning, you know. That is funny that yeah. you're yeah. using slang that... Uh, I like that. Friv- what's the word? Frivolously? I don't know. You just yeah. openly like... And everyone gets it. Yeah. yeah. Like, if someone said if someone said to me, did you see Jerry this morning? I'd be like, who's Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I think that's great. But yeah, it's... Yeah. How old are you when you learn about Jerry? I guess it's just the thing you learn from your parents. Uh, I grew up down s- the south side of the t- town, so I never saw Jerry in my childhood. Right. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but, but you're still talking about fog. What's that? Yeah, I'm still yeah, talking yeah. about fog, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the Bridgewater Jerry. To be honest, I've actually never just called him Jerry like that. It was pretty Like he's funny. a person called Jerry. And the way it was delivered in the show last it night was It was perfect. confusing. It, yeah. gave you, it gave you heaps of material to work with. It was the, the final fogging. It, yeah, was it was the congratulations. final fogging. Well, it was the well, final... Mm, that's the thing. Final fogging of your tour. <laughs> Thank really, I'm the official representative of the fog bit. You know, yeah. it's Luke's joke. Yeah, but you've Luke, Luke gets to perform the joke, but the I also wrote yeah. the yeah. joke. Yeah, okay. Well, you helped create the fan base that. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cultivated a fan That's base. That's true. I've made the fog bit a star. Some people would say, most people would say, the fog bit's actually more famous than the person who tells it, whoever that is. Wow. Well, yeah. I just I just would disagree because <laughs> most nights there's about four people that know what the fuck it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, look, okay, you've done really well on TikTok. We're getting the fog bit of TikTok. We're going to try and bring it up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, sure. But it was the final performance at your well, tour. Well, I need to bring this up. I, I didn't really want to do this on Greeley's episode, but do you mind? Go for it. Okay, I just, can we, here's the thing. I've been mm-hmm. thinking about the fog bit. I want to end it. I think yeah. it's had its day in the sun. Yeah, I um, think it has a long career. Can I ask a question about future. the fog bit? Absolutely. What's Meth Man and Bong Boy? Well, did you miss the first bit? I must have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were having a cigarette. It was a callback no, from wasn't. something else in this show. I swear you didn't do the planter last night. It ends it ends with a callback. Mm. Okay. Um to a to a previous joke. Okay. Um which it's now been spoiled. Mm. Um <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. Um the bit it gets uh, a standing ovation regardless. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't even need a punchline, to be mm. honest. I, I put it in there out of respect for the art, but it doesn't need a punchline. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I only recently put that punchline in for years that didn't have a punchline. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't need one. Um, I just used to go, and that is the that concludes the fog bit, and people yeah. used to just go fucking bananas. Cause, yeah. So uh, here's the thing. I think it's done. You, mm-hmm. I know, because you're like a, a filthy, sleazy manager, you want to keep this ball rolling. Well, I think there's Broadway shows in the future. I think that we could, right. there's a movie, we could get like a, a documentary series running. Probably. I think that we could franchise the fog bit out and get, you know, Japanese comedians to tell it, German yeah. comedians to tell it. I think it has an uh, illustrious thoughts career. Thoughts on merch. Yep, yep, yep absolutely. Okay. We can do merch, we can do action figures. Okay. It's just missed. Could you like yeah. bottle fog? Yep, and we sell could, it as merch. That's yep. good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really like that. We, how about this? Instead of you, you bottle some fog and you call and it, instead of the fog bit, you call it a bit of fog. I think oh. AKA. Oh, that's yeah. a seller. AKA that's a banger. Jezza. 
Yes. Just in small font for everyone. Mm. Yeah, just, just this one episode. It's a little yeah. bit of jazz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and of course, you'll get a percentage of, of the returns as, you know, the person who performs the fog bit. Yep. 3%. We can talk about 5% depending on if you want to do a few press conferences to help promote. Of course. Yeah. Um, but that sounds I think, totally reasonable. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, one thing I brought up and a few people brought up, look, there was we discussed ending the fog bit a couple of weeks ago on the yep. show. I did not receive positive feedback in my DMs regarding well, of that decision. Not. It's got such a big fan base. People want f- the fogging to continue, despite mm-hmm. most people are now hearing the bit in Australia. They've yep. all come to my tour. They most people know it and they've yep. heard it. They want it again. Yeah, I think. Mm-hmm. I just want to say this. I will, no matter how many times it's chanted or yelled, I will not be performing it on next year's tour. Mm-hmm. And I am fully expecting ticket sales to dip yeah. because of that decision. I oh, understand. And that. they will. And they will. Yeah. I'll see a bit of a fucking uh, gap there. Yeah. That's all right. It's interesting, eh? Like, just even in the sense of that people want to come and hear the same joke again. But it's the fog bit. It has a cult following. It's yeah. the it's, it's Do you the think it has it like, It's the room it, of, like, the stand up. Is it the mm. ongoing yeah. joke that, like, you guys are pushing? <laughs> Of like the fog bit. I'm not pushing anything. It's him. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I have always been the biggest advocate for the fog bit. Luke wanted, <laughs> Luke wanted before this tour to kill the fog bit. It didn't even make it to his tour. Yeah. The only reason it made it into his show was because I told everyone to chant fog bit yes. to force him to do it. And, and it so changed you, the world. It was supposed to be on last they, year's tour, but that got cancelled because of COVID. Mm, yeah. So do you think they actually like the fog bit or do they like the in-joke of Lewis <laughs> Mate, terrorising you by dragging the fog no, bit I, out? No, it's, they, they're... Hardcore Fog fans, yeah. most of them. Mm-hmm. Some of them uh, do it uh, as a power move. Yeah. Just, just yeah. completely because it's fun to yell. It is a it's bit like, alpha, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's, I don't care about the, the much better jokes. I want you to do the one you don't want to do yeah. or I'll leave disappointed. That, like, Andrew Dice Clay level of where you come in and start to do the Fog bit and like stadiums chanting the punches with you. You know yeah. what I mean? Like. Do you think it'll get to Have you ever level? seen footage of that? No. This old comedian, I know Andrew who Dice he Clay. Is. I, I only found out about him because I got a comment on one of my stand up clips you going, dress like You're him. ripping off Andrew Dice no, Clay's you fashion. Leather, you wear a leather jacket. And I was like, Who's that? And then I looked into him. I'm He's like, like the, Oh, man, I've never seen this guy. I got told I was ripping him off once because he used to do nursery rhymes. And yeah. I had that yeah. bit about ner- like modern nursery rhymes. But yeah. again, that's how I found out about him. That's yes. usually where you find out about old comedians, is, is yeah. when old people tell you you're ripping them off. Yes. And you're like, Oh, Oh, yeah, I guess every joke's been made. I think the I really think that so. you just a really interesting thing mm-hmm. about because yeah, he did his nursery rhymes, and um, there's footage of Rodney Roode doing the exact same jokes as Dice Clay before Dice, before is Dice, right? yeah, yeah, which is interesting because they're the like nursery rhymes that made him, you know, yeah. He, I think his shtick was that like he definitely he you know took a bit of the Travolta Grease. Oh sort yeah, of, you know, but mixed he in with the New York like stereotype, and he did that, and then he did his nursery rhyme, like, oh mother hopper, you know, yeah. and um, yeah, it got to the point where like stadiums would fill up just so they could say the joke along with him. That's weird. That's you know like a mean? music like, act. Yeah, yeah, it that's what I mean. He was such strange, a personality yeah. that it was like, yeah. Um, I look at mm. him and I go, "Thank fuck, I stopped doing ping a as much." Yeah, <laughs> like I really wouldn't want to be doing bigger beat shows. That's like if I was like just my live shows was just ignoring signs, and it's like he's mm. gonna fucking do it. Yeah, and then I go, and then everyone's like, "Wow, yeah, yeah. so good." Mm. Um, so with the fog bit, yeah, can we leave it at this? I think I will. Uh, it's not ending. We're not ending the fog bit, mm-hmm. but I think we're, it's now only available at special occasions. Okay. Like the loogies, yep. maybe. People mm-hmm. will cop a fogging. And yep. obviously what won't be ever on a live stream. Well, that's good because we can jack the prices up of those special mm-hmm. events. You know, I think two, just special occasions. Get. But at regular shows, like, yeah. look, this year I did 69 shows on my tour. Yeah. I cannot be offering nice. 70. Nice. I cannot be offering 70 foggings a year. Look. And, and therefore <clears> it's not special anymore. I like that. Uh, what about we cap it to two to three foggings a year? Well, I like making ch- turning the fog bit, right? The next stage of the fog bit's career. This is my manager brain speaking. Okay. We're taking him to the next level. Right. The fog bit is now a luxury experience. Great. You know, the, fo- the fog bit is, is going to become the Gucci, the Louis Vuitton <laughs> yeah, of, of jokes. You yeah. know, you can only really afford it <laughs> if you've got heaps of money and it's a special occasion, you know. Yep. So I really like that. I think we the, the best way to, to do this is just like how some, you know, some a massive artist, they'll delete their social media. They get Jay-Z, gets to a certain point, he it's gets like, so big, he it. goes, I'm Jay-Z. 
I don't need Instagram. I'm the fog bit. I don't need to be performed everywhere. That's I'm true. the fucking fog bit. I like that. That's good. This is good. And the the problem with that is I'm going to be rich. What you know what happens with Gucci? Mm. Rip offs. Yeah, fake. People start throwing in. Do you think they'll this be open mic? Really? Do you reckon they'll be like you go on holiday to Thailand and, and watch? You know, like yeah. they're just like yeah, I get stand ups on the street just fog hustling. Bit, fog bit. You, you're going to be on a fog bits. you're yeah. going to be on a cruise. Fog bit. You're going to be on a cruise watching mm. some comedian you've probably never heard of just yeah. going yeah. So like, there's a fetish that exists called Hey, <laughs> yeah. I fucking know. Like people. Well, know. this is where Greeley comes into the plan. We need an enforcer, okay, to okay. make sure that no one ever performs the fog bit unless oh, it's a special man. occasion and it's officially licensed. What about other fetish bits? I'll look, we'll allow, I'll allow it. that. Yeah, yeah. mostly what, fog. Can bit. I ask a question? Because you, uh, do you do that when you do the fog bit? Do you ask about other weird fetishes? Yeah. What's the What's weirdest the, fetish? The weirdest you've fetish come I've got on the tour. Yeah. My favorite one. It's probably not the weirdest, but I, I probably is though. Someone was just like kebabs. I was like, what? <laughs> kebabs. And I was like, what do you mean, like a fetish to eating kebabs? He goes, no, 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 no. And then he explained it. It's this uh, experience that you can pay for that's similar to like an escape room or a break room, right? Yeah. Where you pay like a hundred dollars and you go into a place and you lay on a big human size piece of pita bread. And someone stands over you oh, on shit. a ladder and douses you in lettuce, cheese, lamb. Wow. You can do mixed, whatever you want. You can pick, right? And then they roll you up <laughs> into a kebab. Like they, they roll you up for you. And then you become a kebab. The, the, the kebab or the burrito. But what or, happens then? Do you just sit there going, yep, oh, I'm a kebab. This that's is great. The thing. That's you know, like, just yeah. like, I'm a kebab. And yeah, then yeah. what? And is that when you come? Well, that's you know, like so a lot of these finishes. I don't understand that stuff like that. A was lot like, of them is the climax. I don't get. But that. imagine if you could finish right. You just like yeah. slowly tug one out. Mm. Imagine the cleanup. Because you know well, when you have like it, like yeah, it's like a garlic aioli. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. Imagine, <laughs> right? You know, like when you have like a real yeah. sad wank. Yeah, and you're like, oh, what have I done? Like you watch something horrible, and you're like, mm. going to the toilet, and you feel like shit. You're like, Jesus, I'm the fucking devil, right? Yeah. Mm. Imagine that, but you're covered in lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be terrible. You have to what eat kebab bait. Kebab bait would be even worse. Like just yeah, that'd yeah, be you have it in garlic sauce. You know, yeah. like. you flick a bit of chili off your foot. That yeah. post nut clarity would hit hard if you were wrapped in a pitta. But then imagine <laughs> being like, "I'll see you next week." Like that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that one's probably the weirdest one. There's a few ones like spider. You get yeah. the same ones a lot. Mm. Like people always yell out the balloon one. I get it almost every show. I worked yeah. in the kitchen with a guy that had an armpit fetish. That's weird. I've heard yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think he, he actually used to like brag about how his wife would let him like she couldn't close her arm and he'd um he'd have sex with her armpit he'd have sex with her armpit man but that's, that's like super easy for yeah. her top yeah, yeah. three least unattractive parts of the body it's a weird one isn't it no i don't think but so i foot, think armpit then the jiggly bit under your arm like imagine yeah. a, imagine a world Easily. where like mums everywhere imagine hate the, you imagine if the world <laughs> now just with that <laughs> like you just pissed off mums across the world <laughs> yeah you know, well my little jiggly bit i'm just Come saying on. it's Oof just it is it's yeah, the foot <laughs> what do you call it that's what Foodubada. my mum calls it the yeah. Yeah, it's what, it's what, yeah, yeah it's what it's the old generation's yeah. nickname for yeah. the Wobbly the bit little jiggly underneath bit. the arm. Yeah, I just yeah. think Fidubida. it's funny that everyone has that little jiggly bit, and it's just like that's oh, so weird. It's just a cool human thing. Yeah. That little jiggly oh, really? Bit. It's cool now because I remember you saying it's one of the top three most unattractive no, it's things fucking ever. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> 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 but it's cool. A bit of fun. Yeah, yeah a bit of fidubida. Imagine, yeah. imagine like if imagine the, wo- it imagine if if that the world was just completely revolved around that armpits were the most attractive part of the human body. The <sighs> armpit is pretty common for women. It's more the smell though. Yeah, like I see, I see on TikTok. All Imagine the time, that, like, like women talking about like smelling, like their man Imagine comes home from work like, and yeah. they smell. Like a girl Fair scratches her head, everyone's like, "Oh, fucking stop flashing!" Oh mm. my god, <laughs> pits out for the boys. Yeah. Those chicks must. She's love. like walk past, like you know, a bachelorette party comes past. She sticks her armpit out of the limo. Woo! Yeah. And then she just like goes back. Women who are in armpits must love taking photos with me after shows because they fit <laughs> quite nicely under there. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is like a perfect I thought I heard a few sniffs <laughs> after Brisbane. Yeah. Hey, did you enjoy the show? <laughs> yeah, it was sick. Hello. Yep. Yep. They are smooth. Yeah. Was good lighting. All right. Manscaped.com slash sound off. 20% off and free shipping. The best. Or just, just 
people I've been sending pictures of my balls to. Oh, really? That's yeah. so nice of Big you. Big group chat. And I would say that is offensive and rude. You should mm. never send unsolicited pictures of your balls to people. No, it was consensual. Wow. Yeah, real consensual. And you know what? They loved it. They requested it. Yeah, they, they want request, more. Yep, they want more. And you know why? Why is that? Because Lewis uses Manscaped. That's right. That's how he has such mm-hmm. fresh, smooth, plump, beautiful. Yep. Soft. I've I don't I've never seen it, but I've seen a painting yeah. done by one of his fans, mm-hmm. and it's it was very good. Yeah, it's it's hung it's hung up, and on that's a, no on a credit wall. to him. Purely yep. to do with the lawnmower 4.0, which yep. if you want for yourself, yep. if you want people to paint mm-hmm. your sack, yeah, right. <laughs> Get on it. Use yep. our custom link, yep. manscaped.com slash sound off oh, yeah. for 20% off and free shipping. Mm-hmm. And then your nuts will be art. Yeah. Essentially. I mean, can't get any, any better than that. I might turn my balls into an NFT. You should. Yeah. Manscaped.com slash sound off. It, it might crash the market. <laughs> yeah. It, no, well, no, it might. You know what? It'll. I'll be rich. You know? Well, well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll you see. You will be rich if you use the code because you save mm-hmm. 20% off yep, absolutely. free shipping. Yeah, that's right. No one likes paying for shipping. No one likes paying for shipping. And you and you don't have to, thanks to us yep. and Manscaped. You're welcome. Manscaped.com slash sound off. Use our code. Support the brands that support the show. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Also, great early Christmas Prezi. Get mm-hmm. on it. Yeah, dude, people say fucked ones all the time. Like some things that you don't even realize, like that one last night, gravel. Yeah, gravel it's like was what weird. even is, you can't even mm. begin to understand what's going through someone's brain when they go like, nah, man, gravel does it for me. The foot one I think is the most interesting because uh, the it's just basically your your sex, the part of your brain is really close to a part of your brain associated with feet. So it it's just a little wire cross there. If they're a little bit too close, you're like sex and foot, same thing. Right. So I think a lot of the fetish stuff is just something in the brain is gets a little bit mixed up. And, yeah, and for yeah. whatever reason, you're like, Rocks, fuck yeah, yeah. Mm. I, don't, I don't understand it, but it's cool though. I think mm. it's cool that everyone like uh, nice that everyone has their own thing. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be definitely something in the like formative years. Yeah, you know what I mean. In your in your early childhood, that happens to your brain or inexperience that you go through. Yeah, like yeah, I'm not sure at what point you get a gravel fetish out of that. Maybe you just you know. Mm. <laughs> Personally, <laughs> I'm into just missionary sex for the purpose of procreation only. Mm-hmm. Only no recreation, post-marital sex. as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. absolutely. So no eye contact. You don't have any kids. No. Oh, I have a son. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've got one son. He one. does have a son. Yeah. Did you know about that? No. Yeah, I have a son. We've been mates for a long time, Lewis. And <laughs> yeah, I have a son. He lives with me. At the moment I've told you about my son. He's thirteen. Oh, ah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This keeps confusing people. I keep getting DMs from my actual friends going like, "Does Lewis have a son?" <laughs> I'm like, "No, yeah." Yes, Someone, he's a d- I'm like, "He yeah. doesn't have a son, but he is a dad." Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is. And I'm a quite an absent father at the moment, <laughs> yeah. actually. You know, I was going to say, didn't you only get this son like a couple months ago? Yeah, yeah but then I went out for cigarettes. Mm. <laughs> Never came back to yeah. Tasmania. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to go get some cigarettes off Greeley. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> no, it is. It is funny. You can tell when like a casual listener of Luke and Lewis, like they might have missed the whole introduction of of my son moving in and living with us. Yeah. Uh, they might have missed that whole introduction arc and my life changing. Yeah. And then all they hear is like, "Yeah, so my son did this," and I got a really good comment on one of the most recent ones that said, "Wait, so if Lewis's son is thirteen, does that mean that he had a child at 14? True. <laughs> and they're just going, I had no idea Lewis had a child at 14 years old. This How Frankston of him. You've been hiding a kid. Mm. Uh, and then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I'm going to talk about him now that I'm 27. <laughs> yeah. And Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I've t- speaking of like the fake fans of the of the podcast, not that it doesn't matter to me, mm. just some like, someone got really angry in the line. Someone was like, man, I love the podcast with Lewis. I was like, oh, thanks, man. And he's like, yeah. And then someone else in the line heard that and goes, oh, yeah, fuck Chicken Imp. And then the person was like, what? What's Chicken Imp? And then the other person in the line was like, oh, you fake fucking fan, bro. <laughs> like he just started going off at him in the line. And I was like, I don't want to get in, involved in this. Mm. I'm like, I appreciate all listeners, whether you listen to one episode once in 2018 Man, yeah. a guy or the, all of them. We appreciate yeah. you all. There was a guy at the show last night, um, the Tasmanian Frenchie. His name's Frenchie. His name's Frenchie. Your mate Frenchie. Yes. Frenchie. Yeah. Right. And he fully said to Lewis that the Luke and Lewis podcast saved his life. Yeah, he did. Oh, really? Because he didn't even say hi to me, that guy. 
<laughs> I saw you talking to him yeah. and I was like, that's weird. I thought he was really- He's wearing the big Elvis jumper. Yeah. Yeah, no, he walked past me and was like, I heard him say, fuck this line. And then he walked past the line, spoke to you and then left. <laughs> yeah. No, he was lovely. It was really nice. Yeah. yeah. It's, it is uh, crazy how much a thing that's like dumb and silly to you can mm. impact people's lives. Because it's hard to know what to say because you don't want to be like, oh, you're welcome, mate. Wouldn't be here without me. Oh, you know, yeah. you don't want to say that. It's a, yeah. yeah. You know, I just got to, you know, because it's not, I, I'm i sure we contributed positively. Remember in that some guy way, we like I hugged guess. after the loogies? Yeah. Oh, man. Like, there's so many, that happens a lot at shows. It's like, real people, special people moments. People just like walk up to you with tears in their eyes. Like, you do have no idea. I know you probably hear this a lot, but you have no idea how much you mean to me. And I'm and just they're like, right. We have no, no idea. No, mm, you're right. Yeah. But, it, and it's also one of those things where it's like, Oh, cool. Like we've just, we're on a high, we've come off stage, yeah. we're in a super fun mood. And then they'll just be like, can I hug you? Yeah. And you just have to be like, oh yeah, of course. Like, and then, yeah. oh man, it's, it's so lovely. I'm sure you get it a lot as well. Yeah, you probably shows. get it more. Probably get like it music, more. I think does See, we do stupid more. shit. Music you actually can connect to. Yeah, but I think because you guys are so consistent, um, you know, especially with your podcast and like, mm. yeah, it's, it's an ongoing thing. And once you're on the ride, you're on the ride, you know? Yeah. So, you know, like... Whether it be me writing some like deep rhymes that help someone relates to and it helps them mm. feel better, or whether it's like I think you know for Frenchie it just gave him an escape yeah. from his real world. You know that yeah. he could listen to these guys once a week yeah. and follow the narrative of what you guys are talking about and the in jokes and you know just being a part of it. Yeah. yeah, just felt like he had company that got him through those hard times. Yeah. So it's well, I guess if anyone's doing it tough, there'll be a new episode for you in a couple of days, and we'll see you there. Yeah. It's cool. It's awesome. That's a, I mean, it's a powerful thing of being an entertainer, let alone yeah. like trying to make someone laugh, which is your guys' jobs. But, mm. you know, it can be – laughter is, you know, priceless, really. Yeah. Like, especially in at the moment with, it, with you know, everyone's – Yeah, fuck, I wish everyone thought like you. Opinion. Do you know we what I mean? We fucking up our ticket price by five bucks. Everyone's like, go oh, fuck yourself. Yeah, we should, that we should $35? go – Thirty-five dollars What me. the fuck? Laughter is priceless. <laughs> yeah, actually. Like, you're yeah. lucky there's a price on this because yeah. I've heard it's when you, priceless. When you have a proper fucking laugh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like when you yeah. actually lose your shit. Yeah. I always think about that. That's actually my thing when I buy concert tickets, whether it's music, comedy, any show, I always go – because you know how you like buy stuff six months out usually for like a big mm. stadium show or whatever? you like, oh man, like 120 bucks. Jeez. And and everyone does. You look at that price and you're like, oh, that's going to break the bank. You, when you get there, you don't remember. No. Nah. Like I remember I, all the best concerts I've ever been to. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Yeah. No. I just remember like, I think that's a good thing to think about. If you think you really want to go to something, yeah. whether it's like Justin Bieber, mm. us, doesn't matter. Yeah. I think you go, do I want to go? Uh, do I have the money? Then yeah. I should just go. Because yeah. afterwards you just go, fuck, man. You talk about it for years. Yeah. I remember like, yeah, you know, you do. Oh, man, I went to saw Foo Fighters once in a stadium. I was like, they played for three hours. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't remember. It was probably like 200 bucks. I don't really remember. Yeah, but it's worth, it's worth the experience. Like I got messages from people who saw the most recent Brisbane show and they told me about a show they saw in 2015 or 2016. Yeah. And like they, they remember. So you just... Hit bloody purchase on exactly and, and be like if you really want to. So go when to the thing. we put our tours on sale next they year, will be and you see one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll undercut you on price. I'll do five thousand yeah. dollar tickets. <laughs> and, and and you know what? You get what you pay for. <laughs> I think, yeah. Especially when like you know people will go out and spend two hundred bucks on getting drunk. Yeah, you know what I mean. That yeah, nothing makes me angry. I'm yeah. so sorry you get DMs for the show. I'm so sorry I couldn't afford to come. Any sorry, I'm really drunk right now, but I just couldn't afford to come. Yeah, yeah, it's trash. And you're like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, it's yeah. trash. It's like, yeah, it's like no, just you, don't come. Yeah, just and, so you, and don't lie to me. Just say you so wanted to like, be a waste of space more than watch my like, show, which is compare fine. Compare what you just said about like yeah, the Foo Fighters show. Mm. You can. Go spend 200 bucks getting drunk and you won't remember half the night. And yeah. you won't be like, oh, remember that time I got drunk? Yeah. You know what I mean? They just blur. You literally won't remember. No. Well, and they all just, even if something crazy happens, they all just blur. I you love know, By the time you're 30, yeah. or like, you know, all my early 20s drinking, I don't remember the individual nice. days. Whereas, like, if I went to a Foo Fighters show, yeah, Dave that 200 bucks, is you know, it'd be a completely diff different thing. Like, mm. Um, now, can we do some do you knows? Yeah. yeah. It's time. Yeah. We okay. have a rapper on, yeah. which we've hardly talked about, rap. Yeah. 
Uh, well, so I we thought this mine. would be a good one. We'll, to do we've already had you on, I guess. We've already talked about rap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, by if the way, if you haven't listened to the last episode with Grilly, there's another one. Yeah, from a few months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, if you don't know, do you know? Uh, it's one of our favorite segments, uh, and you can actually send in your own video or audio versions. Don't write them down. We want to hear a recording so we can play it and listen to it. Oh yeah, can um, you please send them in? I hear so many good ones after the shows. People come up to us in the line and go, "Hey." Do you know Avril Lavigne? And then yeah. they'll say the funniest shit I've ever heard. And I'll be like, have you sent it in? They go, oh, nah. Yeah, please, <laughs> please just literally do send them in because I find that a lot of people who, who think it's not good enough, it's actually really funny. So I think that's our in. bad. Yeah. We often go, never send in that again. You suck. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps <laughs> we've been a little too harsh. We mm. do want to hear them, all right? So send them in to lukeandlewis5 at gmail.com. You can email us at any time unless you're wrestling with a shark and fighting for your life, something like that. Um, now, I actually received one that uh, I was really upset that was, it was not sent in by a fan. Uh, I was streaming and uh, a few people started doing them in the chat and this was a great one. Um, hey, do you know Addison Ray? No. Yeah. yeah. TikTok superstar. <laughs> uh, TikTok? Okay. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. Uh, in the new Netflix film. I forget what it's called. Mm. He's, he's all that. Well, if she, was a, if she was a mother who was quite homophobic and then her child came out of the closet, would she be Sadder Sons gay? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Addison Ray, Sadder Sons gay. <laughs> really, that just broke his brain. <laughs> <laughs> Addison Ray, Sadder Sons gay? That's good. I yeah. think that's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a reach, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Addison Ray, Sadder Sons gay. Sadder Sons gay. Sadder Sons gay. It's Sad there. Her son's gay. No, it's, it's good. I'm impressed. Your rhyming skills have gotten heaps better. Mm. Yeah, there's like there's there's like a. You just said you hated it. Yeah, yeah. It took me a minute to kind of warm <laughs> myself up to it. Okay, it's pretty cold down here, right? <laughs> yeah, <it is>. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Definitely set me off into like a yeah. bit of an portal. abyss. Yeah, portal. Yeah, I was like, whoa. <laughs> you know. Um. <laughs> I've got one, yeah. but I, I... You just thought of this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, fellas. Hey, mate. What's Do up? Do you know Greeley? Heard yeah. of him. Rapper. He's here. Comedian. Now. Tasmania. Next to me. Yeah. Mayor. He, I think he's the mayor. Someone told me he was the mayor. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, good friends with Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, heard, I've heard that. Um, if he was uh, traveling around on a one-wheeled device, would people call him Healy? <laughs> I thought you were about to say wheelie. That would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I reckon they would call him either of those things. Why either Healy? Or. Why Healy? Because Healy is like the little shoes that go. Oh, they like rollerblade, but they have one wheel. Yeah, on them. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What they're called. You know, wheelie would, would have been better. You were yeah, correct. Yeah. Mm. I was picturing me on a unicycle, mm. like. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. I enjoyed that. Great. Yeah. yeah. Well, send him in. Look at this. If he was would he be really? So I got one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got one. All right. Um. If Lewis Spears, no, 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 do it properly. Okay, so I'm just I'm I'm learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. Do you know Lewis Spears? Yes. No, you I am him. him. Okay. Yeah. You know yourself though. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. Pretty I good guy. So even, if Lewis Spears, you haven't found yourself yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I need I need to go for a walk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Heard of him? Um, if Lewis Spears. <laughs> We've just wrapped his momentum. No, I've, I've fucked it up. <laughs> So I meant like I fucked it up. I've ruined Christmas. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. God, you know Ricky September. Ponting. Oh, a completely different person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heard of him? Ricky yep. Ponting. Yeah, Ricky Cricket. Ponting. Australian right. cricketer has a video game about him. Yeah. Met him at the airport once when I was eight. Mm-hmm. Wears a green cap. <laughs> if he was actually Lewis Spears. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And got um, and he fell in a honey pit. Uh-huh. A pit of honey. Uh-huh. Would he be sticky long thing? <laughs> <laughs> he would yeah, be. I reckon he's sticky long thing. <laughs> yeah. Do you think? I'm glad yeah, you would. didn't stoop to yeah. like a low level there and do some kind of cum joke because I would mm. have. If I no, have come. thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's fine. I'm glad you went with honey because yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, thank you for the honey. Yeah, yeah. That's I, all right. Otherwise, I think I would have brought our podcast down to that lowbrow humor that mm. I often bring yeah. it down to. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. You're above that, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Uh, can you do the other one that you told me before the show? David so Boone. Do you know David Boone? 
Australian yeah. cricketer. Heard of him. He's yeah. rumoured yeah. to once Big drink a bunch of beers on a flight. Yeah, he had the yeah. record. Australia 54. Um, um, he's a little uh, toy thing that would go, Booney. Yeah, What's remember that? that KFC released the toy. I think no, it was, it was VB, wasn't oh, it? Oh, VB. Yeah, VB no. If you bought a slab, it came a little Booney yeah, toy. Yeah, because I think when you drank the beer on the plane, it was VB. It was fifty-four VBs. Or yeah, oh, Booney hates right. me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, Booney doesn't like me. Why is that? Have you well, crossed David Boone? Mate, it's Tasmania. Oh, it's he's very Tasmanian. small. Yeah. It's but what did you do to Booney? Oh, Booney! It's just all we do when we see him. We just go, Booney! <laughs> yeah, that's like, good. Yeah, but after about 20 years, he fucking had enough of it. Like, <laughs> and so, and he drives around in an Australian cricket car. So he's, you know, he's, he's the only guy with an Australian yeah, cricket yeah, car. That's yeah. his fault for yeah. being Booney 24 yeah. 7. Should just shave his mustache. He'd be right. You know, mm. like, it's mainly the mustache that sticks out. Yeah. But so you, you do know, uh, you, know um, with him. you know, David Boone. Mm-hmm. That's the guy I yelled, Booney! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. So if you do see him, yeah. yeah. Um, if he was getting drunk in a park, mm hmm. And mixing his alcohol with raspberry, mm-hmm. would he be flavoured goon? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, he, would. he would. I like looking at the camera. Yeah. When, when you drop, <laughs> would he be flavoured goon? <laughs> I really like that. that I, adds, I reckon we should keep I that we should up. Add that's, that's, to the segment. Uh, <laughs> you have to deliver the punchline down the barrel of the camera and yeah. look into the souls of the judging audience. Yeah, I, yeah. Because really I guess like it's that. up to them if it, if, if it would be Dave Flavoured Goon. Flavored I think it goon. would be. I, I, I think it would be. Let us know yeah. below. Yeah, sound, sound off, off in the comment section. Yeah. Just, just, yeah, boys, I reckon he would be Flavoured Goon. Yeah, and please do send us your submissions, audio or video. We'll play them on the show. We don't have any, so send them in. Epic. Great. Well, um, well, we're still trying to convince you to like Tazzy. Yeah, we're coming, we we're coming up to the Have end of the episode. So. Uh, you know what? That so one got me. The fact that you might see David Boone when you're about yeah. makes me want to piss him off. I want to break the We've got heaps cold. of actual fucking rare celebrities that live down here. We've mm-hmm. got um, Fisher from Home and Away. I thought you remember meant the, the prince- band, <laughs> like no, the no, DJs. No. <laughs> like remember um, the principal from Home and Away? No. I was a neighbor's man. You were a bit young as well. Do you remember Fisher? Donald Fisher. Uh, neighbors, it's not an age thing. Neighbors house. It's Mainlanded a- dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's watching Home and Awake. He's like, oh fuck, sun. Yeah. Wait, after two p.m. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. It's like, oh, sun's gone down. It's on at three p.m. Let's fucking go. Yeah, people old, who old aren't Fisher. horrifically ugly. Where, where the internet over what there? about what about Wentworth? You ever watch Wentworth? Oh, yeah. You've watched Wentworth. You know, um, fuck. You know the bad the the thing the. The warden, what's her name? You are She's clutching a, at straws here. Yeah, she lives yeah. down here. I'm actually my sister flights w- as we speak. Yeah, well, my, my sister works at Bunnings, and unfortunately, oh, that's where everyone goes. Is she like so, the fifth most famous so my, person here? Greeley's sister? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she beat me in a beatbox battle once, and actually, she can't live it down. That mm. was funny. We went to the 24 hour Kmart the other day, and we're walking out, and some like little Darrow kid goes, like, oh. <laughs> He like stares at Lewis. He's like, he's famous. <laughs> and then Lewis goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just kept walking. He didn't say hi. He didn't say anything. He just what a king. mumbled. Do you, do you guys have 24-hour K months in Melbourne? Yeah. You do? Yeah. So. I was about to try and hold that over you. Mm. So that's why you, you should move to you. 24 really hour Kmart. That's why you should move to Tasmania. You know what I do think the best thing about this place is, is yeah. you don't have Krispy Kreme. They're yeah, the worst donuts it's going around, and terrible. I'm very jealous that you. Uh, you're quite a pro donut person, also. Yeah, but they're the. Sh- that's why I'm anti Krispy Kreme because I'm. I actually enjoy donuts, and mm. they're an insult to donut culture. Yeah. And, and, and actually, if, if, if you're writing an angry comment right now, clam it up, Tubby. Clam they it suck. up. <laughs> they're shit. Go to fucking Woolies <laughs> and buy a cinnamon. <laughs> Yeah. Or an icing, and yeah. you'll have a far better time yeah. every time. Get a it's jam future. donut, Tubster. It's I like so. Yeah, go, two dollars fifty for a six pack. Two dollars for one glazed donut. It looks like it's been glazed in cum. It's terrible. Mm, it's yeah. disgusting. If you right. like that, your brain's been glazed over. Yeah. I discovered Krispy Kreme before they came to Australia in yeah. America, and they had like just American trash. They had mm. drive-through Krispy Kreme shops. Yeah, I saw them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a big plus for you. Do you know how I've been getting on the Zambrero train a lot lately? Do you yeah. know about this? Yeah. I'm obsessed. Mm-hmm. All across this tour. Had it last night as well. Mm-hmm. 
drive through Zambies in uh, yeah. Launceston. Really? Okay, there you that go. That changed the game for yeah, me. That's there we go. good. That's that really good. good. All yeah. right. Day trip down to Lonnie? Yeah, yeah. I think just, worth just it. Just drive through. Just yeah, for the Zambies. Just, just drive so through, come straight back. I once drive through mm. Subway in Adelaide and I was like, that's holy weird. fucking shit. No, that's trash. Drive through yeah, Subway? That's trash. <laughs> no, fuck Adelaide. <laughs> Why is it I trash? Feel, I feel it's like just Subway pa- trash. if it was Mexican, it'd be all right. No, I think passing a foot long over through a car, it would fold in half. No, I just, I'm off Subway. Yeah, Subway sucks. I've been off Subway for yeah. years. I, yeah. I got off it at the radio station. Used I to was, be good. I remember I had my loyalty card. I yeah. never even finished it. Yeah. Do you I like think seafood? You did. Seafood. I'm yeah. on a seafood it's right. diet. It's all right. <laughs> well, our seafood is better well, than the rest on. of the country. What's the diet, Lewis? I seafood, I eat it. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, now seafood is better than the rest of the country. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Big fishing town. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, we went to the Shamrock Hotel together the other night. Oh, is that the other day. Yeah. And it was just high vis workmen and uh they weren't riding so that was actually a big plus as opposed <laughs> to melbourne yeah um and it was just fishermen and they and, actually were tradies was, also yeah they were yeah. real tradies yeah. they weren't neo-nazis in high vis <laughs> so <laughs> fluoro nazis you might Fluoro. Say. yeah that's good yeah i guess like uh, my favorite thing about being down here is just the sense of community and I guess it comes down to like what sort of person you are. No, oh. that was really wholesome. Yeah, but yeah. it's it's true. Like, mm. is that and that we want you to join our little community, yeah. mate. Is that like if you if you want to go through a walk through the city and not talk to anyone, then Tassie's not for you. But like, oh if, shit! If you um, I can't believe you like it here because everyone's friendly. Leave. Well, I actually haven't had a day out yet properly. Yeah. If people are nice, Killen and I were walking yeah. down the street, and everyone was like, "Oh, hi, hey, guy." Yeah. And, and Keelan like, was loving it. Yeah, it's just you know it's that sort of place that like I can go away for three years, come back and no, and see someone in the street and they're mm. like, oh yeah, caught up with you the other month and it's like oh it's been three years and they're like whoa you know like it's like a it's a <laughs> time capsule yeah you know I, think what that's, I, mean? I think that's the drugs <laughs> dude a time capsule it is it is <laughs> a time funny. capsule yeah, it's true you know. time works differently here it yeah. does and like literally it's night time at two pm yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd say that the most thing, yeah, I enjoy about it is being able to go for for a short stroll and run into like heaps of people that you haven't seen in years, and yeah, you can catch up. And there's yeah, there's just a good strong sense of community. That's a hundred percent true. When we got a haircut, mm. you you went outside for a cigarette for fifteen minutes, and it was a really busy road. Three cars stopped for a chat, and none of them got beeped mm. because everyone behind them was like, "Oh, they're just having a chat," as you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm in yeah. no rush. I think it's so funny how you know everyone here as well. Like you walked into the venue that I did last night. Mm. Really knows all the bar mm. staff by name. Yeah. Like we, it was yeah. a music venue, so I understood why. Oh yeah, yeah. But, oh, and you know what but else? They're, they're different. They're guys that I've known for half my life before even live music. You know. Mm. Um, the guy. You know, I said the guy who worked at the venue also worked at the JB Hi-Fi. Yeah. Mm. As soon as I walked into the venue, because I did the same venue again, he was just like. Heard the podcast, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh yeah." And I was like, "Surprised you have time, mate? You're running the whole bloody town." Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, I've, I've known him." I heard for a long he's time. deputy mayor to you. He yeah. runs the JB Hi-Fi, he does. works at the music venue, and um, he's in a really good band called uh, Knife Hands. He's actually in a band too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knife this Hands. guy's the yeah. busiest yeah. man in Hobart. Do you know how he got the name? He's a fucking legend. So when I was a kid and mm. I was tagging everything and doing yeah. graffiti everywhere, I used to see this tag around called Knife Hands, and it was done kind of like. Pretty punk sort of style. And Knife yeah. Hands is a I punk band. I saw you tagged up Lewis's. Yeah, I've done a little Luke and Lewis place. up on the um, That's cool. On the yeah, wall tagged there. the wall. Thanks for that, mate. Yeah, that's all right. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, Knife Hands. And I used to see this tag around. Mm-hmm. And um, and it was done in a kind of like punk sort of metal style hand, st- hand style, if you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. And, yeah, Misha is the name of the guy that. Yeah. Um, he's a legend. He's an absolute legend. Yeah, I've known him for a long time. And he's good friends with a lot of other Mutual friends. Anyways, uh, for some reason in my head, I knew he was making punk music and I saw the tag and I thought, he's doing the tag. Yeah. And I thought about it for like a year and a half and then I went up to him one day and I was just like, do you tag knife hands? And he was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, you sure? Pretty sure you do. And he's like, no, not at all. And yeah, now he's got a band called Knife Hands. Suspicious. So, yeah, mm. I've named his band. Oh, oh yeah. so he actually wasn't doing the tag. No, he wasn't doing the tag. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, the real Knife Hands is going to be very upset about the band. Yeah, well, I've never seen him tag since... Mate, it might be him. Maybe. Misha. <laughs> like, 
It might be. But well, yeah. he will hear this. Check out Knife Hands if you like punk music. Well, I got this, a good band. I got this comment. We got this comment, Luke, on uh, <laughs> yeah, so on, on Luke and Lewis. Uh, uh, if you don't know Greeley, Luke told a story about the, the ugliest person he'd ever seen in his life. I went JB into JB Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi in Hobart and mm-hmm. saw the ugliest. I saw a one out of ten. Okay. That's a one. great. I've never seen a one. Right. A one. In public. Um, well, we That's got so this cute. comment, top comment. I saw Luke and JB Hi-Fi yesterday when I took the miso in to get a new laptop. About to start <laughs> watching this episode to see what he thinks of Tazzy and us locals. <laughs> Is that legit? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> no. Because otherwise there'll be a very follow-up comment, very angry follow-up Is comment Is that a somewhere. legit comment though? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a real comment. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was funny. Don't take it personally, bro. We're all ugly down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I remember when our cursor came down for a yeah. gig in Launceston and it was, i got to give it to you, Lonnie, you didn't do well that day. And um, yeah, there was a few people out in the streets who were definitely inbred. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. And um, they're around. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Have they I told you the history know. of the inbreds? Yeah, you have. I have. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just it just re- all it does. Is this place reminds me. I've never been there, but it reminds me of everything I've seen about uh, Northern Europe, like mm. cold castles, yeah. ugly people, mm, yeah. <laughs> just like pale people who are who are rugged up and sad a yeah. bit. Yeah. And there's a lot of green. It's green. Yeah. yeah. But people are sad about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think there's a lot of happy people about it too. Mm. Maybe get, it's just me. Maybe yeah. it's you. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I was just looked in the mirror and went, oh, fuck, still in Tasmania. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when see, especially when you get out into like the the valleys and you find the people that live yeah. out by themselves and then just like enjoy their life out mm. there. You they, know what? I definitely love it. You know? Look, I'll be honest, I've given it, I've, I've, I've been, I've given it. We're coming up to the end of the episode here, so we're going to need a verdict, Luke. Are you going to abandon the mainland and join us real Australians? Absolutely not, but it's growing on me day by day. Okay, we'll take that. I was going to say it's warming to me. It's not. I think it's getting colder as it gets closer to summer, which doesn't make sense, Mm. but it is growing on me, and I'm having fun. That's great. Seeing a new place mm-hmm. and experiencing new things. Like when I saw that one, I was like, wow. Mm. Never seen a one before. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's pretty good. cool. Don't say that on the mainland. All right. Well, I'll um, I'll get my real estate agent to be in touch, see what they can find you. Yeah, great. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> right, well, I'll gonna... swiftly ignore their calls. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the end of the episode, guys. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very you much. Very Thank much you for, for joining coming. us. Thanks uh, for having me, really? Where, What are you working on at the moment? What can people check um, out? So I've got a new album coming out soon called mm-hmm. Yeah, The Grills. Yeah, the um, grills. That's sick. Yeah, I'm about to film my rapper tag this I'm week. I'm on that album as well. Yeah, Lewis does the intro on my album and an interlude. Yeah. Um, so he's on there twice. Yeah. Um, not rapping. We get, we might do some rap soon, eh? I've written some stuff. We should. I'll, I'll be down to do it. Yeah, I yeah. think we need to make a fucking a drill video with Lewis Spears. <laughs> you guys should do one of those like when Linkin Park and Jay-Z did that EP together mm, and had oh one no. good song and the rest were trash. You guys should do something yeah. like that. Yeah. You write one banger and yeah. then pe- and then just a forgettable four songs. Yeah. yeah. Release it as an EP. Mm, i get around idea. it. That's that would be idea. good. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Right. Yeah. I've got four shit songs in me. Do you want to write the good one? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm working on my album and um, yeah, just going to get back into doing stand up. The venue that we performed at last night. You actually, did real um, well last night. Thank you. you. Crushed thank it. Thank you, guys. Mm. So Thanks good. for having me. It was so good to have a good audience to fucking crush. <laughs> you know, yeah. like. You know what's funny? Yeah. You were like being announced on by Lewis and I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw your post of like, looking forward to getting up and performing stand-up for the first time in a year tonight. And it was like, welcome to the stage, Greeley. And I was like, holy shit, how's this going to go? Yeah. And you crushed. Thanks, yeah. bro. Yeah, no, I was hell nervous before, but when I got up, I was just straight into it. Did not and, seem um, nervous at all. But yeah, the venue um, actually asked about doing a monthly night at the venue we performed at last night. Oh, cool. Yes, so we, that is a possibility. Okay. Running a, a monthly well, I wanna, uh, comedy night there. I want to, um, I've been writing some new stuff for next year, Me so I, I'll get some stuff to yeah, do. Yeah, to practice. Yeah. And All right. Stay tuned. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, Thanks thank again, you guys. very much for listening, guys. There's a bunch of extra episodes on Patreon if you want to check that out and join the Discord. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you in a couple of days. Bye. Peace.